Our verse today is Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. I am the Alpha and Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. The first eight verses of the book of Revelation, which we call the prologue, tell us the addresses of the book, the author of the book, and the one who receives glory and dominion forever and ever, that is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one coming in the clouds so that every eye sees him, even those who pierced him. He will then make us a kingdom, priests to his God and Father. Our verse for today, verse 8, concludes that prologue, affirming the role and position of God the Father. Let us analyze this verse. The first part of the verse says, I am the Alpha and Omega. In Greek, ego emi alpha kaito omega. According to John the visionary, these are words altered by the Lord God himself. Lord God combines the two names of God in the Old Testament, Yahweh Elohim. Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet and omega is the last letter. The rabbis use the phrase from Aleph to Tav, which are the first and the last letters of the Hebrew alphabet, signifying completeness from beginning to end. It means that God is the beginning and the end, and everything in between. This title for God is not new in the Bible. We have instances in the prophet Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 41 verse 4 we read, Who hath performed and done this, calling the generations from the beginning, I the Lord, the first and with the last, I am He. We also read in Isaiah 44 verse 6, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and His Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. This title, therefore, declares that God is the creator of all things and that there is no other God besides Him. It reveals God's eternal existence and sovereignty. It also affirms that God will be the end of all things. But in between, God is also the one who sustains the world as its shepherd, as the king of Israel, and as its redeemer, the action he performed through his son Jesus Christ, who came into the world to redeem the world. The second part of the verse reinforces the first part, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Who is refers to the present. God is always God. He never changes. And is always with us in the present. Who was refers to his eternity. He was always there, not created. And who is to come refers to the end. He is coming in glory when all things will return to God. Read Revelation 22 verse 12. Who is, who was, and who is to come will also be the hymn, the heavenly hymn of worship the host of heaven will be singing to God for all eternity. Read Revelation chapter 4 verse 8 and chapter 11 verse 17. The host of heaven sing of the mightiness of God. He is all powerful. But notice one thing in the book of Revelation. What is affirmed of God in this verse? as the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, is also affirmed of Jesus in the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 13. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. That clearly shows that Jesus and the Father are co-eternal and co-equal. What do we learn from this verse? God holds everything about us in His hands. He knows our beginning and our end, and He is always with us. Why should we be afraid then? Why should we panic? In all things, let us trust in God and place our lives in His hands, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He knows everything about us. We shouldn't be afraid. Even the difficult circumstances in our lives, we can place before Him. We can place in His hands because He knows all and He is with us always. Lord God, You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. We place all our trust in You. Take over our cares, fears, 
and worries. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a pleasant day.